Hi, I'm Dewey Hollister, the Executive Director of the St. George Village Botanical Garden, the Botanical Garden of the Virgin Islands, and I'm standing in a very special garden inside the Botanical Garden called the Verpe Garden. Verpe, which stands for the Virgin Island Rare Plant Initiative, is a conservation initiative wholly housed here inside the Botanical Garden. And this garden that I'm standing in is a display garden showing some of the rare plants that Verpe deals with. And I'm going to show you a couple, well, I'll show you maybe a handful of really interesting ones. Uh, and maybe we'll do another video and I can show you some more. But let me start with one that's right next to me. This plant right here, which you can see in bud, this is the Jamaican Bellflower. The Jamaican Bellflower, when it gets large, will look like a magnolia with Easter lilies. So here you can see this plant is just about ready to open that flower. It'll be super fragrant at night. Uh, this is Portlandia grandiflora. It is in the coffee family, as the name implies, native only to Jamaica. This species is a threatened species, and we reproduce it here. These are actually seedlings that we have grown ourselves here. Another plant I want to talk about is this one. This doesn't look all that special, but this is a native boxwood. Now you would think boxwood would be very easy to grow, considering the boxwoods we grow up north. But this is Vols boxwood, and Vols boxwood is incredibly rare. It is federally endangered, native only here to Puerto, to Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, and the Virgin Islands have the biggest populations. Also over here is a wonderful plant that I just absolutely love to look at. This is Desert Casia. This is a great example of a plant that is not terribly threatened, but on this island it is. So for the island of St. Croix, this plant is very rare now. It's growing in one tiny area of the island. You see the beautiful yellow flowers here. It's always in flower and always has the beautiful little pods hanging down from it. But the area where it grows is so dry now the seedlings don't survive. And so this plant needs human help to uh, thrive and to make more. We again, we grew all of these uh, here at the Botanical Garden. This is another interesting plant. I think everyone is, is very familiar with plumerias. Plumerias are the wonderful flowers they make the Hawaiian lays out of. So I think people think of them as being native to Hawaii. All plumeria species, and there are many, are native to the Caribbean originally. And what we refer to them as is frangipani. So this is the Jamaican frangipani. It's a species and is, a, again, a threatened species from Jamaica. We have two individuals in the garden, so we can go ahead and get cross-pollination. This one is not ready to bloom, but the one across the way is. I'd also like to show you another interesting plant over here. And this, to me, is probably one of the most exciting plants we have in the Verpe collection at the moment. You can see the beautiful flowers here. This is the Matabui tree. Matabui is a very critically endangered species from Puerto Rico. You can see the beautiful hanging flowers. This tree is actually in the tomato and potato family. Its restricted range now is just a tiny little area of northwestern Puerto Rico, living on limestone areas, and it continues to be threatened with more and more forest clearing in that space. So gardens like our garden are incredibly important, and projects like Verpe, the Virgin Islands Rare Plant Initiative, are very important to keep species like this from becoming extinct. Well, anyway, I think I'm going to leave you with that at this point. We'll come back to this garden and I'll show you a lot more plants in another video. But for now, I'd like to say thank you for coming and visiting with me and I look forward to next time.